A lot of time has passed since the moment Antarctica was discovered. But to this day, we have to admit that, like the oceans, this part of the planet remains a real mystery. When a NASA satellite flew over the area in 2002, it recorded a strange impulse. It came from the space under the ice, the diameter of which was about 500 kilometers. A scientific group found there in 2006 a huge crater. It contained an incomprehensible dense mass, the width of which was about 300 kilometers. Section 51. Hi everyone, what's up guys? Those Geek here with Section 51. Thanks again for your support. Before starting, please hit that like button and share this new video right now to keep supporting Section 51. And let's start watching this video until the end. But first, very brief news to start. More and more retired Air Force officers are now calling for congressional hearings on UFOs. Speaking at the National Press Club in Washington, four officers said the sheer number of military encounters with UFOs, or Unidentified Aerial Phenomena UAPs, should make the issue a top priority for the Pentagon, other federal agencies and scientific researchers around the world. Retired Air Force Captain Robert Salas, who helped organize the event and has become a leading figure in the push to make public more information about UFOs, recently said this. In the coming days and months, I think we'll have to deal with this reality, because there is abundant and sober evidence, past and present, for the reality of UIP. Mr. Salas has gained notoriety for his 1967 account of strange lights over Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana, which he says temporarily disabled nuclear missiles at the site. And it seems that he is not alone in making such statements. For example, prior to the news conference of Captain Salas, which took place in October the 19th, Dr. Robert Jacobs, who led a team photographing early US nuclear missiles, revealed that in the early 1960s, during a launch test, a saucer-shaped UFO could be observed in slow motion circling the fast-moving dummy warhead and shooting tightly focused laser beams at it. He said that the superior officer ordered him to stay mum about the incident, and so he did for 17 years before telling his story to some late night radio show. Jacobs noted he believes the footage is still being kept secret by the US government, and it should be released since it is the most important event in the history of mankind. At the same press conference, Salas claimed that his squad witnessed a massive UFO destroy 10 live nuclear missiles at a top secret station in Montana over 50 years ago. But the simultaneous shutdown, however, was impossible, according to him, because the 10 nuclear Minuteman missiles were all controlled by separate systems. Maybe in the coming months or years, we will have the chance to discover declassified photos proving all these incidents. But will we ever be able to see them, given the scale of what they may reveal? Let's wait and see. But now, let's get back to the main topic of this video. I was going to talk about Antarctica, and you will see that this subject is maybe directly or indirectly related to the information of the beginning. A lot of time has passed since the moment Antarctica was discovered. But to this day, we have to admit that this part of the planet remains a real mystery. Even today, many secrets are hidden under kilometers of ice that humanity does not know about. The most interesting mystery is now considered the gravitational anomaly, which is located in the Wilkes land area. When a NASA satellite flew over the area in 2002, it recorded a strange impulse. It came from the space under the ice, the diameter of which was about 500 kilometers. 
A scientific group led by Professor Ralph von Frez in 2006 found a huge crater. It contained an incomprehensible dense mass, the width of which was about 300 kilometers. In this case, the mass went deep into the crater for almost 850 meters. Experts have suggested that a metal object may be hiding inside the crater. Scientists believe that under the kilometers of ice in Antarctica are the remains of a giant asteroid. But at the same time, it remains a mystery how the Earth remained intact after colliding with such an incredibly large object. Other experts believe that there is definitely a space body in Antarctica. But so far, there is no way to get to it and start studying. An expedition of this nature requires a lot of resources. If we talk about the cost of the expedition, then the price will be about the same as the price of a manned flight to the Red Planet. While scientists have not received any accurate information about a strange object, several theories emerged. Many are sure that a huge alien spacecraft crashed in this place. Others believe that a base was built in that place by extraterrestrials. And you, what do you believe? What is really hidden under the ice? What object large enough and metallic enough to emit such a detectable radio signal into space might well be hidden beneath the surface of the ice? Are we talking about an alien ship or an alien object? An underground base? If it was an alien spaceship, what was its mission? For what purpose did this object come to Earth and when? Did it intentionally come to Earth or did it just crash into the ground as a result of a damage? What does this object contain? Can its contents be dangerous for humanity? Should we ever fear if the melting of the ice occurs that this object may release something that would be a threat to us? Will we ever have the technology and the financial means to explore what is hidden in Antarctica? Maybe after all, it is not necessary to seek out in the depths of space any form of extraterrestrial life. Maybe we already have the answers to our questions here, under our noses, buried in the ice for thousands of years. Please be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below if you want to react and help us to grow this community. Section 51 is on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Hit that like button and that bell button too. Share the video. Subscribe to Section 51. I'm counting on you. Talk about Section 51 around you. This was Dos Geek with Section 51. I'll be back really soon. Open your eyes, watch the sky, live long and prosper. <laughs>